guys. Welcome back to YouTube channel today we're in. Today we are in the yacht club and what are we doing, Dad? Tonight we actually, or this evening, we're actually taking you on another date night with us and one of my favorite restaurants here in Disney property. In my opinion, the best steakhouse that this uh, Disney property has and it's called the Jackman Steakhouse. I haven't been here for like a good two years now. A good two years. And in this video, we're gonna show you everything that they are they got over there. Today happens to be the first night that they reopen, so I'm super excited. My favorite steakhouse restaurant. Today is, is opening day for them, and I cannot wait to show you guys everything that they have to offer over there. So if you happen to be brand new around here, hi, welcome to Good Case Adventure, and we're main mission is to help you have fun when you come here to any Disney property or Universal property. With that said, are you guys ready and hungry? Yes. Awesome, because I am. So what are we waiting on? So, let's, let's go. go. Wait, Mom, hit the intro. Mom, let's go for my steak. Hit it! I want to share with everybody that this happens to be one of our favorite resort in property. I'm gonna put a video down below where we did a staycation here last year, but in our opinion, this is one of the best resorts in property, right? It's our favorite. Yeah, Good so, man. and also has the best steakhouse too. So let's go. So before we head in there, just wanna show you how to get there. Once you go through the lobby, you actually make a quick left and keep going this way. You have to pass the El Com Compass restaurant in order to make it there. And you continue to walk this way. And if you've never been in this resort, by the way, they have the best pooling property. Right, Kiros? Yes. So anyway, you're gonna keep going this way. There you go, guys. Chapman State How I am so freaking excited. Yum yum, I already can smell that steak. Just want to show you really quick the attire for this property. There you go, business casual attire. Oh, the moment of truth, look at this guys. Look at this. Wow, I just want to give you a quick look. Look at this. All the reason why I love this steakhouse, look. It's got filet, prime, New York Street, prime, porterhouse, ribeye. Look at all prep over here. I love this place, guys. I'm telling you, one of the best places or the best day house that we have tried here in Florida. Hey, Karen. So we finally made it to the we made it to the table. Did, have the kids been here before? Really? Yeah, I think they were here our, the last time we were here. I think they. they oh, once they were a little bit obviously younger. They were younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys remember when you came here? No. No. no, okay. Is this one of your favorite spots too? Or yeah. just mine? I'm just the I one. Think yours more than mine. <laughs> like, this is your number one. This is my number one. Yes. All right. Well, I mean, but I'm a, unless something changed, am I wrong to say that? It's yeah. delicious. It is delicious. All right. So one, right now, we're just going to give you a look, a quick look at the menu. That way. We actually got a menu. We got a menu this time. Look. So we, I show you the meats in the front, by the way. Um, these are some of the prices too. As you can tell, it's steakhouse prices. Now it comes the difficult part. What are we gonna order? What am I gonna order? Steak. That will be a good indication. See how big you can, how big of a steak you can. Yeah, I'm not as well. I'm here. I'm not as well order something. Exactly, but most importantly, what to find these too. I gotta look at the kids menu, but Kyla's currently coloring. Yeah, so we we already placed our order, and as usual, when you watch our reviews, we're gonna put the actual menu so you can follow it with us. Yeah, so for the first course, they have Caesar salad, they have a lobster biscuit, they have the French onion soup, uh, they have wedge salad, uh, and jumbo shrimp cocktail. So have a pretty good selection um, they, they have a portion that says chef signatures offerings and it's more for to share for two for two people so it's a 28 ounce dry aged prime porterhouse for two or the chilled emeralds tower for two 
and that is uh, lobster, snow crab, tuna tartar, tuna tartar, jumbo shrimp, mussels, scallops. So you have the meat uh, dish, and then they have the seafood. Dish. And then you have your butcher's cut, where you can pick from. And there's where you're gonna get your eight ounce filet mignon, your 14 ounce roasted prime rib, your 12 ounce New York strip, or your 16 ounce uh, ribeye. And those come with one uh, accompaniment, uh, and that is you can choose between mashed potatoes, uh, French fries, or vegetables. Only. And then they have like land and sea entrees where you can mix and match, like obviously seafoods and. And now they also have other side. Side, uh, they have the steakhouse sides, which is a, a, for an extra charge. Right, those are an up charge. Uh, there's an up charge for those. And you, you can get truffle mac and cheese, truffle french fries, cream spinach, uh, asparagus. So they have a couple. And the server said that those are big enough to share for two people. Right. And we have tried those, the mac and cheese before, and it's one of the best mac and cheese in property. So what do you end up ordering? I ordered the 8 ounce filet mignon with french fries. And what did I end up getting? Uh, he went small. He went with a 16 ounce prime rib. I was conservative. Very conservative. Very, very. He, it's, just a, it's the biggest cut of the pork. Well, besides the 28. Uh, and then the kids went with the steak skewers. And with the side, they get to pick two sides. So they got mashed potatoes and the mac and cheese. No appetizer because we're going to get enough food. Yes. And they're going to bring bread as well. So. Oh, we love the bread. The bread. I remember the bread was good too. So. Uh, anyways, that's so far what we got over here. I, I cannot wait. Sorry that I'm spilling my excitement and I keep saying the same thing. So I hope it came back as good or better than what it used to be. I hope so. Because now he's going to be very disappointed. Yeah. Anyway, so before we show you more about my favorite restaurant here in property, I just want to remind you that if we're sharing any valuable content with you, make sure you hit that like button. And actually, if you are brand new here, become part of the family by just subscribing. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah. We need this family to keep extending, and we would love to welcome you in our family. So do it right now. The bread has arrived. The bread has arrived. What do we have over here, Mama? So the top ones are the multi-grain breads, and then the ones in the bottom are their signature, which is an yeah. onion pull-away pull away bread. So they, they, they pull it away. They're delicious. And they brought us our, our Hawaiian butter. Our butter with the Hawaiian salt. It was horrible. Oh, that's that's how bad that bread was. That was the damage. Yeah, it's really good, right? I had the onion one, and it's amazing. I love that one. Yeah, that's my favorite too. That's my favorite. The kids ate the multi-grain one, and they liked it. And they liked it. Yeah. The, the kids' food has arrived, and here's how the steak skewer, skewer looks like with mashed potatoes. Um, and actually, this is their mac and cheese. Their side of mac and cheese. Their side mac and cheese, because they can pick two sides, right? Okay, so there you go. Now, Kyla, you've been, have you tried the food so far? Only the mac and cheese and the potatoes. Oh my god, this is so good. Just want to show you my steak, <laughs> my prime rib. This is the 16 ounces prime rib right there. So here are the french fries. They actually brought the truffle mac and cheese. And also this is Karen filet mignon. With her french fries. Yum yum. Okay, you got the family already trying the food. Kyla, you tried your steak. How was it? Oh, that was so good. Was it good? It was really good. Kyla, your steak, how was it? Mom, it's delicious. I, I, I just heard Karen say, mm, this is good. So I tried my steak. Steak is just like as good as I remembered it. The, the mac and cheese is delicious. Fries are really, really good. What's your favorite item in there? Everything? I would say the fries. I mean, the, not the fries. The what? The mac and cheese. Mac and cheese? Steak. Steak. All right, so the, here is meat dinner review. Kyla, how are we doing? Really good. I'm going to pull. Really good? Are you agreeing with your dad that this is probably one of the best restaurants, if not the best here in property? There you go. You're still standing by the mac and cheese. It's your, I mean, the steak is the favorite. Steak is the favorite in the property. Huh? The no, steak no. is better. Your steak is good. Yeah, but I'm just saying. 
my steak is better like here than in the United States. Than ever, okay. yeah. than any, anywhere else, okay? Kalo? Mac and cheese still the best for you. All right? You will come here again? I think these are one of the best restaurants. Best restaurant, man. Karen? Delicious. Look at, look at Karen's prime rib right there. Wow. Yum, yum. That fries. Now, Karen? Delicious. 100%, right? 100%. Okay. There you go. I'm still working through my small steak over here. <laughs> and the mac and cheese. Everything delicious, guys. I just tapped out. I can't anymore. I can't. How was it? Oh, it was awful. Can you tell? And, and it was a pretty small steak, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it covered the entire plate. But it was small. Yeah. But it was small. <clears throat> I was telling Karen I ended up eating it because I don't know about you guys. I don't like reheating steak the next day because it dries out and it loses flavor so I'll, I have to power through I, I have to make that ultimate sacrifice though oh poor baby but not all kidding aside when I was like when I had like this much left I was like can I really finish this so I had to push myself but hey we only ate half of the mac and cheese the kids couldn't finish their mac and cheese, their mac and cheese either Excellent, excellent steak. You guys have to try it out. Oh, by the way, the fries were outstanding too. Yeah, the fries are delicious. So, I mean, would you reheat fries the next day? Yes. I wouldn't. And the toaster oven. Mm, doesn't taste the same. So, I ended up making it, powering it through this. But now I'm going to pay the consequences. Yeah. Maybe we should walk around the world. Maybe. I would love to, but it's just way too humid, <laughs> man. I, I, you know me, I love walking, though. Yeah. It's way too humid out there, but uh, yeah, excellent steak. I did finish mine. It wasn't as big as that one, but I still had to power through mine because it was still, it was an eight ounce, and it was still pretty big. Why? Why everything ends up about the size? Ain't nobody talking about the sizes in here. You finished it. You ended up finishing. I was talking to. To my oh, you friend. were talking to the viewers. To, to my friends and my family. You Not were, you. You were talking to our family. Yes. Okay. I feel mm -hmm. judged. No one's judging you. I said yours is bigger and mine was smaller, but I still had to power through mine. My yeah. eight ounce. It was well worth it all. Yes. Delicious. So, would you that. come back though? Of course. Okay, we're back. All right, guys. So from here at the Jack Club, nice dinner at Jackman Steakhouse. It was amazing. What do you guys thought? I thought it was really, really good. I want to come back. You want to come back? I want to come back. The mac and cheese and the mashed potatoes were really good, but I'm not really that much of a fan of the steak. You were not? No. I'm, I don't really like steak overall. Yeah, we're not related. You don't like steak overall? Are you sure he's my kid? I don't know. He must be mine. What the heck? But anyway, how are yours? Food coma right now. Food coma? Oh, yeah, we like beer. Uh, is it worth it? Yes, yes. Oh my God, yes. As, as a mom, uh, would you highly recommend parents to come here with their children? Uh, yes, when they're very like picky eaters and they don't like steak. Because really the menu for them was like either steak or grilled chicken or two other items that I know our kids wouldn't like wouldn't eat. So unless you have like a finicky kid that needs their chicken nuggets, then I wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't, then I would definitely recommend, recommend them. Now the the total price, um, again, it's a signature steakhouse signature restaurant. Steakhouse, yeah. So the total was 170 something, right? Over $170 for everything that we show you today, um, including our drinks. And you know, by the time that we pay uh, with the tip and all that, it was about $200. So again, it's not a restaurant that even though it's my favorite, I come here like all the time. We come here like every other year, literally, because of that reason. So, but if you're looking for a really nice steak, very flavorful, you, you know it's great quality, seasoning is spot on. spot on, 
everything great service because the servers were amazing everything i mean you you just have to come here and try it out and and again even for a signature restaurant to get the approval from the from the kids even though somebody doesn't like steak as much <laughs> Um, it's good. It's good news, you know, for for family of four that have kids our age. It's it's um, it's that's great news. If you can, that's a win win. That's thumbs thumbs up. So we highly recommend it. Anyway, guys, um, sadly this adventure has ended. Thank you so much one more time for showing all the love and support. We love you back. We love you. Thank you for everything you guys do. But with that said, we want to remind you to subscribe. And turn that bell for notifications. <laughs> and feel free to comment down below. And remember to smile out, be great, be cool, and stay awesome. See you guys next semester. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom. Sorry. Bye. Boom. See ya. Bye.